Hello, I'm Nathan from All Hands Active, and uh, today I'll be describing a bit about circuit theory. Uh, for this project, we're going to be using uh, what we call a parallel circuit to connect all these LEDs together using conductive thread and a power supply, which is, for testing, it'll be two AA batteries, and for the final thing will be a power supply that we provide um, for the final quilt. So, as you can see here on this paper, we have one example of a parallel circuit. And the reason it's called parallel is because you'll see there are two lines going from the power supply here, this battery. They're looking like they're kind of parallel to each other. And these are the LEDs here. And you'll see that each one has a plus sign. And then there's a negative side with a minus. And to make them parallel, we want to connect all of the plus sides together, the positive poles, they're called. So to hook up this last one over here, we're going to connect this line here to that negative side. And then we're going to connect this positive one here. Oops. There we go. And now we have a full circuit. All of these LEDs will light up. You can kind of think of that last one sort of like a ladder shape, I guess. Uh, but there are many other ways to hook up circuits in parallel. You can think of uh, multiple paths for electricity to travel as being a parallel circuit. Here we have a different arrangement of parts here. We have, of course, our battery again, and we have three LEDs. And we're going to kind of hook these up in, I guess you could call it kind of like a web shape. Uh, this might be useful if you have, you can't think of a way to run one continuous strand of LEDs and you wish to branch out from the battery to individual LEDs, which is totally fine and it worked great. And I'll show you how to hook these up as best I can. So, get my red marker here. We're going to connect one connection from the positive to one connection on the LED. Another connection from the positive to the other connection on another LED. And finally, go down to the third one here. So we have three positive connections. These are all parallel connections because there's multiple ways for electricity to travel. What about the other side? Well, this is going to be tricky to show on a diagram because we're going to do something you probably shouldn't do with the thread. But just imagine that the negative is on the other side of the fabric or away from the wires here, just, just for a thought experiment. We're going to connect the negatives. So this one's easy because it just goes right there. Here we might have a problem if we did this in real life. What's happening here? We're crossing over the positive line. And what will happen is that will create a short circuit, which we don't want. But just ignore that for now. Assume the wires are separated somehow and they're just going over each other without touching, OK? And then the last one, of course, goes over here. All three of these LEDs will now light, assuming you didn't cross the wires in real life. So just keep that in mind. So that, I guess you could call a web. So one way you could prevent the wires from crossing uh, would be to put them on different layers of fabric. And as long as they're not, the stitches aren't touching anywhere between those two layers of fabric, you could isolate them. Uh, so you can get creative with that. You can use multiple layers if you need to, if you find that you need to run individual runs of LEDs to different parts of your fabric square. All right. Now, here's an example of what not to do. Uh, these are all LEDs in a series format. We call it in series because they're all in a series. Uh, it looks kind of like a chain of electronics. And what will happen is, uh, depending on the battery you're using to power them, they might light. But the battery, the, the amount of voltage we're using for the circuit, will not, will not be enough to power all of these LEDs uh, if they're put in series. So at most, you'll probably get you know one or two lighting up very dimly and then this like if you didn't have this here ignore this one for a second you'd, you'd probably get two that light up very dimly if you went and added the third one they would all stop lighting up because five volts is not enough to drive all of them all right now that we've got the, ser the series and the parallel circuits theory out of the way we're going to talk about some other things so here we have the leds they come to you 
uh, on this sort of uh, ladder looking board. And we're going to, of course, break off one side so we can actually get them off of here. If you look very closely, you'll see that there's a positive side with a plus there and a negative side with the minus or the, the, the negative sign. So the positive should go to the positive side of your battery. The negative should go to the negative side of your battery. LEDs are very particular about that. So LEDs, they only like to light one way around. Uh, if you hook them up and positive is to the negative side of the battery, uh, or vice versa, negative is to the positive side of the battery, they won't light because diodes are a component that only allow electricity to conduct in one direction. And that's what these are. But they also emit light, which is why they're called light emitting diodes. All right, lastly, make sure that you have the tails of the quilts. You will want tails on either side so that we can hook them all in to the final product. We want the positive on the top side and we want the negative on the bottom side. So wire your LEDs accordingly with this in mind because if you get them flipped upside down, it's going to look really bad when we put it in the quilt. If you're having any issues, uh, check us out at All Hands Active. We'll be happy to help you with the electronics or any other, the sewing perhaps, uh, extra supplies if you break something or you can't get it working. Uh, check out our meetup. It's meetup.com slash allhandsactive. And uh, we'll have our events on there for when you can come in and come see us. Or you can do it virtually on Zoom. We'll have some Zoom sessions set up also so that uh, folks who can't make it in or don't want to make it in uh, can do that still. All right, so good luck. Keep what I said in mind. Go check out the sewing video, it's great. It has lots of information and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, bye.